Hello everybody, welcome to Percussion Axiom TV. My name is Tom Burt and I am your host. And today's axiom, how well do you know your marimba? Uh, I hope this will be an interesting topic to you guys. Um, something I'm really passionate about. Um, but, you know, this is kind of a test episode to kind of see what this generates as far as interest goes. Um, so before we get on with the show, I just, you know, we're going to use that as a little segue to uh, encourage you guys to, to, you know, interact with me and, and leave, definitely leave more comments. Um, you know, so much of that helps me kind of direct the show if I know what you guys are talking about and how you're feeling about things. And I think this show will, will spark some, some, a lot of comments, hopefully. Um, so we have a question of the episode that's a little silly, but really I want you to comment more about the content of this episode. So um, that's the first thing is, you know, I really need, would love to see more comments. Uh, you can leave those at thomasburritt.tumblr.com and, and YouTube. Those are the first two places I would encourage you to do that. Um, preferably the Tumblr site, but, uh, please leave comments about that. And, uh, I think it's something that, um, could help us. Um, I'm trying to use Ustream more. I'd like to try to stream live more often. And, um, if you guys, if I start to seeing comments, you know, in the forum or at thomasport.tumblr and I see, you know, some themes or some issues you guys want to really talk about, um, that's almost easier than I can address them individually as long as you can come to the session. So look for that. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll know when we're able to do something like that with Ustream. I'm also thinking about some other ways to use Ustream in the future that um, hopefully will be interesting. So let's see. Um, please help spread the word about the show, guys. Um, you know, I do this without really any any uh, compensation, and I love doing it, and, you know, comments keep me motivated, but when I see the show growing, that's even better. So if you, if you love the show and you watch, you know, pretty much every episode, do what you can. Tell your friends. If I have some interesting ways that maybe you you, you know you could do, uh, just let me know. Uh, send me an email or get in touch with me somehow, and uh, maybe you know we can come up with some other ways to grow the show. It's really really important. So please tell your friends, and um, I love to see that happen. Um, and if you do anything like that, you know, let me know about it so I know what what you're doing to kind of spread the word. So I'd love to know about that. Um, let's see. Uh, comments, we went over that. Topics from Ustream on, on the show. So let's get, go ahead and get into the show now. Um, so how well do you know your marimba? Okay. Well, the first thing we want to start with is that every bar on this instrument is sort of like a different instrument, right? It's sort of its own instrument in a way because no two marimba bars are really going to be the same. Even if they come from the same tree, uh, you know, they're going to be different. They're going to have different densities, different you know, composition a little bit. So every one of these in bars here is really an actual instrument, okay? So that's the first thing. And um, this keyboard right here you're looking at is one that I've been playing for many, many, many years. And I've done experiments before where I just, you know, I've spent so much time with it and I've not only spent time with it, but really listened to it and get to know it that I don't, you know, I don't have perfect pitch, but if someone were to hit certain notes, I could tell you which notes they were just based on that, that notes timbre uh, and quality. Um, not just on pitch, but the actual color of the note, because they're all a little bit different. Some notes are mellow, some notes are a little sharper, harsher, and overtones. Um, but really, really getting to know every bar on the instrument can sort of affect the way you play, really. You know, for example, when you're rolling, you know, this note, this F sharp here, is just beautiful. It's so easy to roll this note, whereas other notes, it's not so, it's much more difficult just based on that note's quality. So that's the first thing, okay, is get to know the keyboard to that extent. And that's from listening, spending time with it, really, really being sensitive when you're listening. Um, so the next thing is, you know, when you start to do that, you're going to notice a lot of things, okay? You're going to notice that not every bar rings the same, okay? Um, then the next issue is, okay, is it a bar issue or is it a resonator issue, right? And I think too many of us are way too, uh, way too ready to blame the bar when we should really be focusing on the resonator. Okay, so what is the purpose of a resonator anyway, right? Seems like an obvious question, but really the purpose of the resonator is to amplify, okay? Um, a bar actually will ring maybe a little less if, it, if it's sitting over a resonator um, because there's friction that goes back and forth with the, this airspeed to the bar underneath. If, we, if you just hit a bar without a resonator, it actually rings for a very long time. So doesn't, resonator doesn't actually make a bar ring longer, it just makes it ring louder. So it's amplification. Um, the next thing about resonators that's important is um, shape. 
right? I mean, most marimbas have round tubes. Uh, this particular instrument, this Maltec, has round tubes all the way to the bottom. Um, you know, acousticians, acoustic, acousticians, however you say that, um, people who know acoustics will tell you that round is always the best, okay? Now, we're not, we're, we can go into that a little bit more, but it's going to be past the scope of where we're going today. So, um, if you guys, this is where I'm going with this. If you guys want to know more about that, we can talk about it, but maybe... I don't want to go there unless it's, there's some interest in that. So, uh, but round is always the best, and that's why you know most every instrument you'll see has round tubes at some point. You know, from here all the way up to the top. Okay, um, wider is also better too because it's going to be moving more air through that, and the the larger the resonator, the more fundamental that will be uh, reson will be amplified. All right, um, that's also a, a proven fact of acoustics. So. You know, people talk about the low end of this particular brand of instrument as being really wide bars. That's why, because the wider, the bigger, the bigger the tube, the more fundamental is is enhanced, and that's the problem with the low end of the marimba, right? The fundamental is sometimes um, difficult to hear and focus on down there. I've heard many, many non-percussionists comment on how hard it is to hear the fundamental in the low end of a marimba. So wider is going to help that. Um, okay, so. <clears throat> I have a little experiment here, and we're going to give Ozarka a little plug. I swear they didn't contact me or anything, but <laughs> the reason that rounder is, or that uh, um, round is best is because it gives you an aperture to focus on getting a pitch. And also, um, a round tube will also resonate to a certain pitch. So if you just take an empty water bottle like this, it doesn't have to be Ozarka, but unless they want to help sponsor the show. <laughs> if you blow into it... You get a pitch, and that's somewhere between D sharp and A. So if I put a note exactly at this pitch level over this, it will resonate that pitch. So the problem with non-round uh, resonators is they don't. If you if you try to crimp this, make this not a non-round tube, you don't get any response at all. Okay, so uh, you don't get any pitch in that way. So it has to be a round tube, and that's and and that's the only way that it's going to give you a pitch. So if that's true, like we just demonstrated it is, then the pitch of that resonator, in this case it was between a G sharp and an A with this water bottle, has to match that of the bar. And that's really the point. Okay, so the so it's really about the the pitch of the bar working well and and in sort of in, in the same way, so it, so the so the bar is going to ring in sort of symbiotic relationship with the tube. Okay, so if the tube's exactly an A and the bar's exactly an A. These, these, you know, that, that tone will be most accurately represented and, and amplified. 